Today we're going to show you how we bake our Pignoli Pine Nuts Cookies. So what we're gonna need is pine nuts and we're gonna need almond paste or mazapan for cooking. We're gonna need some sugar and we're gonna need some flour, either almond or all purpose flour. And we're gonna flavor our cookie with a little bit of salt, a little bit of vanilla and lemon and almond extract, some lemon and orange zest. We're gonna need some egg whites and we're gonna need some powdered sugar just to dust the cookies after they, they cook. And we might add some almond butter if we need it to make the texture just right. We will post the recipe for you on our X Twitter uh, page or Facebook page. Okay, first we have to crumble or cut up the paste into little pieces. Okay, then we add the crumbled paste. Okay, then we add the sugar, okay. And then we add the flour, okay. We mix the flour, the sugar, and then mazapan together first. Okay, and here, as you can see, we have a, a crumbly mixture, and now we add the flavoring. About vanilla, it's up to you. This is about half a teaspoon, vanilla. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit, as you can see, of lemon extract, just a few drops, okay. And a few drops of almond extract, okay. We're gonna add a little bit of salt, maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon, okay? Now we add the lemon and orange zest, okay? And now we mix the seasoning with the crumbled mixture. Okay, now as you can see, I have two egg whites here. I whisk, uh, I whisk the whites until it's nice so in a soft stage. Okay. Okay, I think that do it. All right. Add the egg whites to the mixture. Okay, and now I mix uh, the egg whites with the rest of the ingredients. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon or so of almond butter to my mixture here, because I like almond butter, that's why, okay? And I mix everything together. Okay, and as you can see, it's sticky and smooth. So this is the textures we are looking for. All right. So what I do is with a spoon, I have my oily hand here. I put little oil, my hand, and then I take the ball here and I shape it into a ball. If it is small, you add a little more, like that. 
and it's sticky so you have to roll it up like that okay and then you put it with the pine nuts like that see and this is our cookie like that okay okay so we do it again we take a little bit and you know with the your hand has to be greased you know either with oil or a little water and then we add it to the pine nuts and we roll it with the pine nuts like that all right and then we add it to the tray like about an inch apart okay so here is our cookies now we're gonna be baking them uh on 325 preheated oven So halfway baking, I like to turn the cookies around. If I have two trays, I like to alternate them. I put one on top and the other on the bottom and continue cooking it. We're gonna be cooking it for about 20 to 22 minutes. Here we are after 20 minutes, it only took us 20 minutes to bake these. As you can see, they are nice and golden color. And that's what we're looking for in our Pignoli Pine Nuts cookies. So we let them rest in the trays for about five minutes. And then we'll put them on the rack to cool them down totally, okay? Okay, after we let them rest on the tray for about five minutes, now we move them to a rack to cool them completely. And if you like, you can add some powdered sugar to your cookies. Okay. Okay guys, hope uh, you like this recipe. And if you try it at home, uh, let us know. Bye for now.